Hello, this is a second example on integration by parts. We had a first video where we explained um, what integration by parts is about and how to use it in a simple example. So here's a second uh, uh, problem where integration, it's a typical problem that it's uh, an integration by parts technique kind of uh, integral. So um, this is the slide that I went through in the first video. You can uh, have a look at it again. You can pause it now just to remind you of uh, what the method is and how to use it. So uh, let's go for it. Here's the example that I wanted to uh, discuss. So uh, as I said in the first video, integration by parts is a method to um, evaluate integrals that look like a product of two functions. Um, however, this integral does not look like the product of two functions. There's just one function. It's the integral of uh, logarithm of x dx. So how are we going to do make this uh, look like a um, something where we can apply integration by parts? Well, that's uh, it's not a problem because ln x dx we can write it as one times ln x dx, and uh, now we see a function uh, one that is uh, easy to. Um, uh, integrate in a function ln x that is easy to differentiate. So we can take our choices of u are going to be uh, ln x, I know how to take a derivative of ln x, and it makes it uh, a somewhat easier function to work with. And my dv is going to be 1 times dx because I know how to integrate the function 1. So now we can um, find what is du. Remember, the derivative of ln x is 1 over x dx. And the, in the uh, value of v is 1 antiderivative of 1 dx. So it's the integral of dv, which is the integral of 1 dx, which is just x. And I'm not going to add constants there because I just need 1 antiderivative. So here are my choices. Uh, it's always good to display them in your homework or your uh, work. Uh, what are your choices uh, that you're going to use in the integration by parts problem? And now you can uh, finish off the integral. Let's see the success of the method will uh, hinge on whether I can calculate v du, the integral of v du. Let's see what that is. So the method of integration by parts tells me that ln x dx the integral will be u times v. So here is v is x and u is ln x minus the integral of v du. v du is the integral of x times du. And du is 1 over x dx. So that works great because uh, if we simplify, this is x ln x minus the integral of uh, x over x cancel out and I just have again 1 dx. So if we continue here, this will be the uh, x ln x minus the integral of 1 that is x plus constants. So we found uh, uh, we were able to use integration by parts because I was able to calculate the integral of u dv of, um, excuse me, v du, which is easier, much easier than the original function, the integral of ln x. So uh, the final answer is that the integral of ln x dx is x ln x minus x plus constants. And um, it's not an immediate integral, so it is not uh, immediate by any means that this is an antiderivative of ln x. So let's, uh, let's check our work. So we need to uh, take a derivative of x ln x minus x and hopefully we should get ln x back. So uh, the derivative of x ln x, uh, we need uh, to use the product rule. So the derivative of x is 1 times ln x plus x times the derivative of ln x, which is 1 over x, minus the derivative of x, which is 1. This is uh, 1 times ln x plus 1 minus 1. 
the one and the one will cancel out, and I just get lnx back. So indeed, that function x lnx minus x is an antiderivative of uh, lnx. And uh, again, we've succeeded in using integration by parts. For a function, uh, for a, uh, an integral that does not look immediately as a product of two functions. So it works in a variety of settings. Thank you.